Rwanda is a small, ambitious country located in Central Africa. It has no natural resources to feed its ambitions. The one important element that Rwanda is counting on for its economic growth is its people. In its pursuit of a modern, self-reliable, knowledge-based economy, Rwanda has set a target of where it wants to be in the next few years, Vision 2020. The role of women in Vision 2020 is crucial in the national economic development since 51.8% of Rwandans are women. VVOB, the Flemish Association for Development Cooperation and Technical Assistance, strives to enhance the education development through capacity building and quality improvement in the sector of formal education. Um, so VVOB is a gender responsive organization. In VVB Rwanda, we in fact mainstream gender in all phases of uh, different programs. So that means that um, starting from the formulation and over the planning and implementation and finally monitoring and evaluation of our programs, we uh, mainstream gender. Within the broad framework of the poverty reduction agenda, VVOB contributes to the improvement of the quality of education and training in Rwanda with a special focus on equity. VVOB Rwanda supports the mission of the Ministry of Education to transform Rwandan citizens into skilled human capital for social economic development of the country by ensuring equitable access to quality education. In addition to that, VVOB's focus on gender to realize equity within education perfectly fits with the priorities of the Ministry of Education as stated in the Education Sector Strategic Plan 2013-2014 to 2017-2018. With this being at the heart of VVOB's program, all gender issues are implicitly addressed in all intermediate results and sub-results. VVOB's current intervention in Rwanda's education sector are reflected in two major but quite specific capacity building programs. Learning outcomes in primary education under the Rwanda Education Board, REB. Technical Vocational Education and Training Program, TVET, under Workforce Development Authority, WDA. Testimonies about International Women's Day, IWD, and International Day of the Girl IDG events conducted with Tivet schools. In Tivet schools, girls' representation is still low. The overall representation of girls in Tivet schools for 2014 is 43.7%. If we break this down, 43.1% in vocational training centers, VTCs, 45.6% in technical secondary schools, TSS, and 21.5% in technical tertiary institutions. Anje nkiga twarigaga umwana yarangiza kwiga. Yaba dashoboye kubona umwanya w'ujya mu mashuri makuru nibaye bamwemerera kujya gukora mu myuga ngo nta myuga bakobwa kera nta mukobwa wubakaga nta mukobwa bakanishaga imodoka umwuga w'umukobwa wa kera wari ubuhinzi. Waba udashoboye kujya mu mashuri makuru ngo wakigira nk'ubwo bwarimo VVOB, in collaboration with PAFP, the Belgian Common TVET Support Programme, has been conducting events aiming at sensitizing and raising awareness of the population on gender and TVET. The events were organized to raise awareness and sensitize the population on gender in Tivet and reinforce the collaboration with the local authorities to ensure substantial enrollment rate of female students in Tivet schools. Umwana w'umukobwa kukwiga construction mbere twa twarabihejwe ari ku ngubu ubabyeza ntabura akazi iyo mbonye umwana twigishije akajya ku isoko ry'umurimo agakora Havunara performinga na musura na kachangu na kama magara gara katu bila wati tu kuharaji ba la tu kuachi la tu lakula tu majukumu mnyani la tere tu kwa na vite shimbere mirejango ya avu kando kwa mirejango ya vite shimbere ni jibu shiba chiza muk. Throughout the different activities conducted in these events, theatre presentations, poems, testimonies, different speeches, girls have been urged to embrace technical and vocational education and training. 
event and parents sensitized to facilitate and encourage girls who want to join TVET. What has been the impact of such events? Immediately after a series of four trainings on how sector education officers, SEOs, can lead and coach professional learning networks, PLNs, PLN started being operational in the 30 pilot sectors, one sector per district. Byanafashije cyane kugira ngo nshobore nko kubashyira nko ni nko nko kumurongo mwe kugira ngo buri wese yumve ko afite igitekerezo kandi agomba kubwira abandi kugira ngo kwa kugenda twigiraniraho bigende neza. Facilitated by SEOs on a bi-monthly basis, head teachers from different schools located in one sector meet to share ideas, experiences, provide solutions to different issues encountered in the educational field. To ensure that during PLN meetings, female and male head teachers are given a chance to participate equally and that a positive atmosphere is created, a gender-specific topic, gender communication differences and strategies, was given during the training of SEOs. <laughs> After the session, after that training, I ensured that both male and female teachers participated equally, especially in sharing experiences and giving views on arisen problems in the management of respective schools. Gender-sensitive professional learning networks published as one of the articles in the Urunanar Gwabarizi magazine, a peer learning magazine for school leaders. How have this helped the SEOs to ensure all head teachers, male and female, participate equally? Musanzo Muri article harimo nkibintu bibiri, harimo nk'amabwiriza noneho nuburyo ushobora gutuma haba umwuka mwiza mu nama ibyo rero byaradufashije cyane buriya iyo ugenda uhabwa amahugurwa agenda yiyongera kutwo waruziho noneho bigatuma urushaho kumenya iyi project ya professional learning networks aho yaziye iradufasha Zinama Dukora Zangiri Akamaro Kanini. Gitangira nk'umuyobozi mushyashya ntabwo umuntu abafita wahera ariko hamwe no kugirana inama n'abagenzi banje byatumye tugira uburyo bwo kuvugana kenshi aho ngiza akabazo nkamagara nka mugenzi wanje nzi undusha experience nkavuga n'esi iki kibazo muye nacyo VVOB has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Forum for African Women Educationists, FAWE. This partnership consists in intensifying their cooperation for mutual benefit in respect with these thematic areas. Quality education and good learning outcomes for all learners. Gender responsive pedagogy and school leadership gender-sensitive teaching and learning materials, engagement at national, regional and international levels for gender-sensitive education policies and practices. FAWI national chapters and VVOB country offices were encouraged to operationalize this MOU in the countries of common interest, of which Rwanda is included. We are operating in many countries in Africa and in all those countries, VVOB has a stake and uh, we are happy to have that link or that relationship. 
How far has this partnership gone in Rwanda? VVOB has a memorandum of understanding with Huawei, and in uh, Rwanda we are working closely together with the uh, Rwanda chapter. Um, for example, Huawei is screening our materials that we use for training, um, whether these materials are gender responsive. They have good guidelines on gender responsive pedagogy and they are then closely involved in a gender check or a gender screening of these materials. Uh, the mission of Huawei, one aspect of its mission is empowering girls through different approaches. Uh, approaches that is specific for Huawei, like the Tuseme approach, whereby girls and boys are taught to analyze problems that they face uh, that hinder uh, their education and they identify them, uh, analyze them, and propose solutions. Uh, there is also the gender responsive pedagogy, whereby uh, schools, uh, meaning teaching and non-teaching staff, are taught about how to address a specific need for girls and boys. The overall strong political will that characterized the Rwandan government and its commitment to promote gender equality has allowed development of national key instruments, including the National Constitution, Vision 2020, Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy, EDPRS, policies, gender sensitive laws, strategies and plans, and establishment of mechanisms and all of which have contributed to great achievement as registered across the country. In the same perspective, the mission of the Ministry of Education is to transform the Rwandan citizens into skilled human capital for social economic development of the country by ensuring equitable access to quality education, focusing on combating illiteracy, promotion of science and technology, critical thinking and positive values. Hence, in the country of a thousand hills, Rwanda, true quality education cannot be achieved without addressing the gender dimension.